Unless you are living under a rock, you may have already heard of the unexpected dismissal of OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman. This move, orchestrated by the board of directors of the nonprofit overseeing OpenAI, sent shockwaves through the tech world. The decision not only displaced Altman, but also saw the removal of President Greg Brockman from the board. With Brockman resigning shortly after, there has been a lot of speculations about what happened, from Sam Altman not sharing enough details with the board, to Elon Musk being behind the scenes, to stop Sam Altman from continuing to being the biggest leader in in AI space. Let's break this all down in this video, where I will also tell you every single person involved in this shocking decision. So OpenAI's corporate structure adds a layer of intrigue to this development. Unlike typical corporate setups, OpenAI's directors hold no equity or receive compensation. Altman's own shares were indirect, tied to a small investment by Y Combinator, where he previously served as president. OpenAI's governance prioritizes its mission of creating safe artificial general intelligence, or AGI, over shareholder value, marking a distinctive approach in the business world. Now, let's go one by one, and let me show who are the individuals involved in this decision-making process, the real people behind the scenes. First in line, Adam D'Angelo, CEO of Quora, who joined the board in 2018, who has always had an emphasis on the importance of AGI with safety in mind. Next is Tasha McCauley, an adjunct senior management scientist at Rand Corporation, who also co-founded Fellow Robots and Geosim Systems. Her ties to the effective altruism movement and advisory role at the Center for the Governance of AI showcase her commitment to ethical AI development. Ilya Sotskever, who is the sole remaining co-founder of OpenAI on the board, has been a pivotal figure. His history includes a computer science PhD, co-founding DNN Research, and leading the AlphaGo project. Sotskever's recent focus on super alignment has reflected OpenAI's commitment to responsible AI, allocating 20% of its computing to address challenges associated with advanced AI systems. Another important person on this list is Helen Toner, who is the Director of Strategy at Georgetown's Center for Security and Emerging Technology. She joined the board in 2021, bringing expertise in global AI influence and safety considerations. These individuals with diverse backgrounds form the core decision makers at OpenAI. The departure of Reid Hoffman, a significant early investor, and other former board members like Shivan Zillis and Will Hurd earlier in the year raised questions about OpenAI's governance. A venture capitalist criticized criticized the nonprofit board's lack of traditional governance, questioning the suitability of these individuals to govern a company of such global importance. The fallout and resignations did not stop at Sam Altman. The shockwaves extended beyond the boardroom. Following Altman's dismissal, three senior researchers reportedly resigned from OpenAI. Jakub Pachoki, Director of Research, Alexander Madry, Head of AI Risk Analysis, and Simon Sidor, a veteran researcher, chose to depart. This exodus raises concerns about the impact on OpenAI AI's research capabilities and institutional knowledge. The fallout from Altman's firing included an all-hands meeting where employees questioned the board's decision. Ilya Sutskever, attempting to address concerns, emphasized the board's duty to the nonprofit's mission, dismissing claims of a coup. The abruptness of the decision and the resignation of Greg Brockman fueled speculation and uncertainty among the OpenAI workforce. Surprisingly, there are reports suggesting a potential twist in the saga. Sam Altman may be contemplating a return to OpenAI. Anonymous sources claim the board is reconsidering the decision and has extended an offer to Altman. This potential reversal adds a layer of complexity to an already bewildering sequence of events. The manner in which Altman was fired remains a focal point of discussion. A text message from Ilya Sutskever led to a sudden video call where the entire board, except Greg Brockman, was present. Altman was informed of his firing, and the news was made public shortly after. The board cited Altman's lack of consistent candor in communications as a reason for the dismissal. The tensions leading to Altman's ouster reportedly stemmed from differing views on the pace of AI development. Altman's inclination toward aggressive development clashed with the board's preference for a more cautious approach. This tension reached a tipping point, particularly after OpenAI's recent developer conference and the announcement allowing the creation of personalized versions of ChatGPT. Greg Brockman's resignation announced via a post on X echoed his pride in what the team had built over eight years. The co-founder, feeling the weight of the news, decided to step down. The chaotic sequence of events and the lack of transparency in communicating decisions
Russians left major partners like Microsoft in the dark until just before the public announcement. In response to Altman's dismissal, OpenAI appointed Mira Murati, the chief technology officer, as interim CEO. Murati, having been part of OpenAI's leadership for five years, brings stability to the company during this transition period. As the board conducts a formal search for a permanent CEO, Murati assumes a crucial role in navigating OpenAI through uncertain times. Regardless of who leads OpenAI, the challenges ahead are daunting. Increasing competition in the AI space, a surge in startups, and growing government regulations pose significant hurdles. The departure of key figures, including the CEO and senior researchers, raises questions about the company's future trajectory and its ability to maintain its position as a leader in artificial intelligence. In conclusion, the ousting of OpenAI's CEO has triggered a cascade of events that not only impact the leadership of the company, but also its research capabilities and workforce morale. The unexpected nature of these developments has led to speculation, questions about governance, and even the possibility of a CEO returning to the helm. As the AI community grapples with these uncertainties, OpenAI faces the challenge of reshaping its future direction and maintaining its commitment to responsible and impactful AI development. Please like and subscribe to the AI Trail for the latest AI and tech update. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.